This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello my friends, in today's video we're going to be talking about rippling individual resolve and why you most certainly will be using it at the end of this video. So without further ado, let us indulge my friends. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17. A welcome, a welcome. So first things first, what is rippling? Rippling is an operation that enables you to affect the rest of the timeline based on the current or previous action. What does that mean? <laughs> Quite simply, if you perform an action in DaVinci Resolve, you can use rippling to affect the rest of the timeline as a result. So let me show you so this makes more sense. These clips here, if I wanted to delete, say, this clip in the middle, right? I can click onto it and then press the backspace key or I can right click and press delete. So as you can see, a few things have happened here. It's deleted the clip, but we have now been presented with a gap. Now there's a few things we can do right here. We can zoom all the way out and highlight all of the clips to the right, and then we can drag it to the left clip to close the gap. Or if I undo all of that, we can click onto the gap itself and press backspace to delete the gap and it's gonna move the rest of the timeline to close the gap. So to review, we've deleted the clip, it's left a gap, we've had to select onto the gap and delete the clip or move the rest of the timeline on the right to close the gap. Now, if we undo all of that, I'm gonna show you why rippling operations are so powerful. If we wanted to delete this clip again, what we could do is right click and right here you can see it says ripple delete or you can press the shortcut on your keyboard DEL. If I press ripple delete, what do you think is gonna happen? I'm about to show you. So <laughs> get ready for this. As soon as I press ripple delete, it's not only deleted the clip, it has moved the rest of the timeline as a result. So again, rippling enables you to perform an action and it will move the rest of the timeline as a result of that. It is extremely, extremely powerful. It has saved us numerous clips of having to close the gap or move the rest of the timeline. Insane. So this is honestly one of the fastest ways that you can edit. All you need to do, make cuts absolutely fine. Click onto the clip, press DEL or what I've actually done secretly, I've actually bound ripple delete to my mouse. All I need to do is press the button on my mouse and it'll automatically ripple delete for me. And this is absolutely insane. You can very, very quickly start editing this way. Clicking onto a clip that you won't want, ripple delete, click onto a clip you don't want, ripple delete, and automatically shifts the rest of the timeline for you. So it enables you to edit very, very quickly. But my friends, it does not stop here. No, there are several rippling options within DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to be showing you the most common ones that you'll probably be using. Ripple Delete being the one at the top because it is really helpful. Secondly, we have something called Ripple Cuts and it does exactly what you think it does. If we were to go to the right hand side here and we see this clip, we can right click and we can press cut. As soon as we press cut, it will cut the clip, but it leaves a gap. And again, we'd have to close the gap. And if we wanted to insert the clip that we just cut, we can go somewhere in the timeline, right click, paste insert and as you can see the clip that we cut is right here now if we undo a few steps we can right click again and you can see that there's actually a ripple cut so if we press ripple cut what do you think is going to happen yes my friends it's going to perform the action and alter the rest of the timeline as a result so it's going to cut the clip and move the rest of the timeline to close the gap so just like that it's cut the clip and move the rest of the timeline without leaving the gap super helpful so again we can go to the right hand side paste insert Voila, just like that, we made a ripple cut and we've pasted the clip and it's affected the rest of the timeline. It is super smooth. Oh, before I forget, if you go to DaVinci Resolve in the top left corner, you go to keyboard customization, you, you can actually assign your own shortcut to some of these actions. So say for example, ripple cut. By default on my keyboard presets, it doesn't necessarily have a keyboard shortcut, but here I can actually type in a shortcut. I don't know, control shift O and I press save. Now, if I go back and I press control shift O, it's done a ripple cut and it's moved the rest of the timeline. So you can actually enable keyboard shortcuts or change keyboard shortcuts by just going to DaVinci Resolve, keyboard shortcuts, type in what you want. And as you can see, just like that, we can change the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, back to what I was saying before, the next ripple operation, which might be helpful for you, is if we wanted to change the speed of a clip, but also make sure that the timeline changes as a result. So this clip here, as we were saying, is, it's a decent length, but say for example, we wanted to speed this up, no problem. What we're going to do, right click, change clip speed. As you can see, we're presented with a few options right here. We have the speed and percentage, the frames per second, and this check mark right here. Yes, my friends, the important check mark, ripple timeline. Say for example, I wanted to speed this up four times. Well, I'd times the speed by four, which would be 400%. I'd ensure ripple is selected. And if I press change, 
as you can see it has sped up the clip and it's also moved the rest of the timeline accordingly this will work the exact same way for the inverse so if i go back and i were to make this slower by 50 percent of its original speed so i'd go back 50 percent make sure ripple timeline is on change not only has it extended the clip but it has moved the rest of the timeline accordingly before we continue to our last operation let us thank today's sponsor yes we have a sponsor today Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspirational classes that you can use to deepen your knowledge, creativity, or just indulge your curiosity. Luckily, it's created for learning, so thankfully, there's no ads and you can concentrate completely on learning. Now, here's actually a few interesting classes that I'm taking myself and they might surprise you. The first is a class by Maya Moss and it's how to make a clay mug, hand building pottery for beginners. And I'm actually quite surprised. I'm really, really into this. Um, <laughs> so you might see pottery in the back of one of my videos real soon. The next class I'm taking is Sculpting Stylized Characters in ZBrush by Michael Gatz. Pretty informative. I'm going to let you know how it goes and show you some results real soon. As Skillshare sponsored this video, the first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So without further ado, let us indulge in the final rippling operation of DaVinci Resolve. Now the final and probably one of the most exciting ripple operations actually using the trim tool. Now funnily enough, the trim tool doesn't have the word ripple in it, but it does do a rippling operations. Now I'm gonna have a video, it might already be out or it might be coming out soon, check the description, all about the trim tool and the dynamic trim tool. But I was gonna give you a quick little overview of the rippling operations and why it's kind of a cool tool. Okay, so let me show you why the trim edit tool is so powerful. First and foremost, if for example, we wanted to extend the current clip that we're watching right now, I want it to be longer, but I also want to keep the clips to the left and to the right exact same. So what I'm going to do is try to extend this. So I'm going to grab onto the end of this clip and drag to the right. And as you can see, it is extending the clip, but it is cutting into our clip to the right, which is not what we want. And if I go to the left and try to do the exact same thing, try to extend it, it's cutting into the clip on the left, which is not what we want. This, my friends, is where the trim edit tool comes in handy and why it's extremely powerful. If I click onto this tool icon right here, which is the trim edit mode, and I do the exact same operation here, you can see as I'm extending the clip, it's not only extending the clip, but it is leaving the clip to our right the exact same length. It is not cutting into it. And this, my friends, is absolutely insane. What's cool about this is you're actually seeing two preview windows. The window on the left is where the clip will end when I finish letting go. And the clip on the right is where the clip will begin at the end of this clip that I'm editing. So this is really powerful. This is probably one of my favorite tools. It's the trim edits and the ripple delete. Those are probably my two favorite ripple operations. What's actually interesting about the trim edit tools, if you wanted to, you could cut into the other clip or you can actually move the position. But my friends, that's for the full trim edit video, which is coming soon. This was just a quick overview of the rippling operations within DaVinci Resolve. It has certainly been a while. So before we end, let's take a look at some comments, shall we? Melissa says, looks absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. No, Melissa, thank you for watching the video. Venetia says, thanks, man. Right on point. You got one more subscriber. Thank you for subscribing, my friend. Neighbor Star says, awesome job. Glizzy50k says, we appreciate you for this. All of them other folks are talking about color grading made it really confusing to understand. <laughs> no problem, Glizzy. I'm glad I could help. Comics and Co says, thank you so much for making it so simple. You deserve a like. Thank you for the like comment. Meow Michael says, I'm going to say what others have said a million times. Amazing video. You're such a legend. Thank you, Michael. You are the legend. Malvina says, thank you. Brian says, thank you so much for this. Thank you. Hippos Grom says, short, simple and to the point. Not to mention, very helpful. Thank you. And Douglas J. O'Brien says, boom. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like the video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. If you want to see more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, then let me know in the comments below. If there's any other tutorials you want to see or anything you'd like me to cover, then also let me know. Thank you very much for your time, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.